All right, so I'm gonna show you real fast how to install Star Wars Genesis for Starfield. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna make sure that we have a clean install of Starfield. So no like residue mods or anything like that. And then once we are sure of that, we have a nice clean install. We wanna go ahead and uh, launch Starfield once and just go to the main menu just to generate those configuration files for us. And once you've gone into the main menu and you've kind of just clicked through here, go ahead and just quit back out. And then the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and go to the root of whichever drive we are going to install install Star Wars Genesis on, which for me is gonna be my C drive. That's where I have Starfield installed. That's where I'm gonna install Genesis. And here on the root of the C drive, we're gonna go ahead and just create three new folders. The first one's gonna be a compiler. The next one's gonna be called Star Wars Genesis V5. Now, for this one, it'll be the version, whichever version you happen to be using, which for me is gonna be version five. And then we're gonna make a third folder called Wabajack. We're gonna be using Wabajack to install this collection of mods. Now we can go ahead and just leave this folder open. Once we have these three folders created, we're gonna go ahead and open up our browser. And in our browser, we're gonna go to this Google Drive link right here, which is gonna take us to the Genesis Wabajack. And up here in the top right, we're gonna go ahead and just click on this download. And as you see here, just it downloaded that Star Wars Genesis Wabajack file. We're gonna go ahead and just open up my downloads through here. And you can just open up your downloads however you want. And here is the file and I want to copy this. And I'm gonna go back to my C drive to the newly made compiler folder right here. When we go in here, we're just gonna paste that file right here. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go and get Wabajack itself. So we're gonna go ahead and go back to our browser. And in our browser, we're gonna go to this URL right here at wabajack.org. And we're gonna just go here and up here in the left, just on the download button, go ahead and click that. And we're gonna do kind of the same thing again. We're gonna go ahead and copy this. And we're gonna to go to our C drive, to our Wabajack folder. I'm gonna go ahead and just paste that exe in here like so. And now we're gonna go ahead and install Wabajack. So we're gonna just double click on this exe right here. And it's gonna pull up the, the Wabajack installer and it will download a bunch of stuff for us. And here we are in the, the Wabajack interface now what we want to do is we want to go up here to the top right to this gear go ahead and click on this and you see here how it says on logins nexus mods it says i'm logged in make sure that you're not logged in already so i'm gonna go ahead and log out for myself and then we're gonna log in to nexus mods here now you're gonna need a nexus mods account um, it's free to make one if you want to do this manually but if you want to take advantage of the automation you're gonna need a, a premium account so i'm gonna go ahead and just log into my account here and then it's gonna come up here and ask if you would like to authorize Wabajack to work with Nexus Mods. And we're gonna go ahead and just click authorize and we are good to go. So we can go ahead and hit this back button up here in the top left. And then we're back to the main Wabajack interface. We're gonna go ahead and exit out of this interface just one time. And then we're gonna go and we're gonna double click this exe again and go back in just to be on the safe side. And here we are back in the interface. And we're gonna go ahead and click on this center button right here, install from disk. Um, and now as you see here, we have these three blank areas. So this top one's gonna aim at our mod list, which is the file that we put in the compiler folder. So you can we can go ahead and set the path by just clicking on here. And then we want to navigate to our local disk C, compiler, and right here is our Star Wars Genesis .wabajack file. Go ahead and just click open on that. It may autofill for you, like it just did for me. If it doesn't, what you wanna do for the monolith installation is also just click on here and you want to go C drive and go also go to Star Wars Genesis version five and select folder. And there we go, and it'll all auto select this one for you. And then we are ready to go. And we can go ahead and click the installation button. And then we just sit back and let it install. Now, if you don't have premium, you'll have to do this manually. Um, and I'll, I can show you in kind of a time lapse what that looks like. Depending on your internet speed, this might take a while. It's quite a bit of stuff to download. All right, so once this is finished, we can go ahead and go down here and just click close. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to our browser again. We're gonna go to this Google Drive URL right here, and we're gonna go ahead and just download this you can click on it right here and just download it and this is a the starfield custom dot ini and what we want to do with this is we want to copy this file like we do with the others and we're going to go to documents my games starfield and we're going to go ahead and just paste that in there now if you don't have this starfield directory in my games all you have to do is launch starfield from steam go into the main menu and it will generate this this folder for you and then you can come back and do this and then we're gonna go and we're gonna get something else real quick we're gonna go so go back in our browser we're also gonna go to this google drive url right here and we're gonna go ahead and just click on download right here now maybe if you're doing this you might have three dots on the right side and you can click on that and there'll be a download in 
that three dots as well. We want to go ahead and go to our downloads folder and here is this zip archive. You can use 7-zip or WinRIR or whatever. I'm gonna use WinRIR because that's what I know best. And here is this hotkeys in here. Now what we wanna do is we want to go ahead and open up my games Starfield directory again, the same place you put that Starfield custom INI. We're gonna go ahead and just drag this in here and drop it in there like so. And then we're good to go on that front. And we can go ahead and exit out of that. Now we're ready to go to this PC, C, on my C directory here, my root directory, go to Star Wars Genesis v5 that folder we made early on i'm going to go in here and here is mod organizer.exe i'm going to go ahead and run this now this is how you're going to launch star wars genesis is through here now i'll ask you to set up the nexus mod links you don't need to do that right now so i'm going to just say no now make sure that you have sfse selected which is our starfield script extender so make sure in this drop down menu that you have that selected and we're gonna hit run. And here we are in the Star Wars Genesis menu. We're gonna go ahead and just hit space bar, hit whatever. And we're gonna actually gonna go ahead and we're gonna exit out. So we're gonna and just hit quit and hit confirm on that. And we're gonna go back, here we are again in our mod organizer and we're gonna hit run again. And we're gonna go ahead and click on new game. We're gonna confirm that and we're okay. This achievement's being disabled. And here we are, we are loaded into Star Wars Genesis. And now we're gonna go through the alternate start screen. So we can go ahead and just choose where you wanna start. I like to start out in Arshada and we're gonna start as a bounty hunter and we're gonna go ahead and go ahead and hit, hit done. We're just gonna move through this real quick. That guy's, you know, he's a bit of a looker, but we're gonna go ahead and just, and here it comes up and says we're on Alhada. And you will get this Star Wars alternate start is complete. Now, what you need to do is you need to go ahead and hit okay. And we're going to go to save, we're going to make a hard save, and then we're going to exit the game again. And now we are going to run the game again. We're going to hit run. We only have two things left to do, which are pretty minor. So we're going to go here into settings and under display. We want to make sure that frame generation is off. We also want upscaling to be off. We also want to make sure that our film grain is off. So put that thing at zero. And we also want to turn off V-Sync. These things will cause problems for running this mod list. Um, and also make sure that your motion blur is off. We are ready to play Star Wars Genesis. And the last thing that we want to do is we want to go to our Steam and we want to make sure that automatic updates are turned off for Starfield. So what we want to do is just open up your Steam library here and then go ahead and just right click here on Starfield and go to properties, updates. And here where it says, always keep this game updated, just go ahead and click that and go to only update this game when I launch it. As long as you don't launch Starfield from Steam, it won't update and that's everything you need to do to install and play Star Wars Genesis.